Oh, you want some history now? I don't know. Well, uh, that's a long story, really. The reason we don't have a drummer is because in the early days, uh, it was, well, they couldn't find a drummer. I wasn't in the band, of course, but uh, they couldn't find a drummer. But uh, the only way that they could rehearse quietly in somebody's house at a very cheap cost was to use keyboards with headphones. We used to use a four-track tape recorder, and we used to sit it in the middle of the stage just like the drummer, because we didn't want people thinking we were trying to hide the fact. And for now, for practical reasons, the tape machine has moved to the side of the stage, but it's basically the same way we first started. The keyboard has a total of 36 different banks, so each song has its own set of sounds. And on Black Celebration, I've got uh, several sounds allocated to specific parts of the keyboard. Yeah. So, uh, first sound is right and then the next sound I'll have to play is a little bit further up on the keyboard which is just that so then I can put the two together and then later on I have to play a melodic part up here limited by what you can manage with your hands. And what as far you can as the remember, sound goes, you've well, got to remember where you, you put it. You've got to remember where you put it, but that yeah, comes yeah. after a while. It gets to be uh, automatic, really. Your hands just sort of go there. Do you ever forget sometimes? Oh, of course. These are quite simply linked to this keyboard. So in other words, all you have to do is imagine that these two pads here are extra keys on the keyboard. And when I hit that pad, it's exactly the same process as if I was playing a key on the keyboard. 